Randy, you were there. Tell me about it. Well, just the, the puck hit her, and she got up, and you all watched her, and you went, well, at first when it hit her, you went, oh, no, it hit a little girl, so everyone's, your heart just sunk, and then you saw all the people coming to her. But then when she got up, walked away, she was holding her head, you went, okay, she's just getting stitches. She's going to be fine. You go back to the game, and you don't think anything of it until a couple of days later, and all of a sudden you hear Brittany Cecil. That's the name of the girl who died in the Columbus. It's hard to take. It's tough to see when you're a dad and see that happen to a kid as well, right? I think, yeah, it's very tough to see when you're a parent because you can't help but my kids, a couple of years younger than them, but or my, both of my kids, I'm sorry, were a couple of years younger than her, but it's still the same. I have a daughter. I couldn't imagine th a girl thinking, you know, she's going to the game. It's her birthday present to go see her first NHL game. She's all excited, and that's her last NHL game. It's not right. It's not fair. Do you have to take a step back and be a subjective journalist and let your heart go to the side and forget about it? Well, it's hard to. I think it's impossible. If Yes, you have to let the part of it go away, but it's hard to. You know, We're all parents. We're all people. You, know, you talk to players. I talk to Jody Shelley. I mean, you find me a tougher customer in the NHL and bring it up, and you can just see his tone of his voice. He just spoke in hushed, hushed quiet tone, didn't want to talk a lot about it. And, just felt sad just thinking about it and this is 10 years later it's just too much for people to take sometimes and there's a lot of people that still don't like to talk about it and those who do they don't want to talk about it for very long because it's a very painful memory to think that you were there you saw a little girl die not at the time but it killed her a couple of days later how has it changed the game how's it changed the game well it's changed the games with the nets I think it's a good thing. I know at first a lot of people were, I know at first a lot of people didn't like the Nets. They thought it was obstructing their view. And in fact, even in Columbus, they had fans phoning, complaining about it. But, you know, now you walk in and I don't think people even notice them. Or they just accept it as part of the fabric. It's like going for a beer and getting a hot dog. The Nets are there. It's just part of the whole atmosphere now. And it's a good thing too, because, you know, you still see pucks hitting the Nets at high speed and now at least no one's getting hit by him.